I'm Thijs, I'm the founder and CEO of OnRamper, hence you can imagine my interest. Now, let's go through some basics. What is an OnRamp? So an OnRamper is not a party like Coinbase. Coinbase is a broker, is a wallet, is an exchange. We will define Fiat OnRamp here as a third party that offers a API or a widget for wallets Internet and exchanges so their users can then buy crypto. So that's parties like the ones you see here, this is about 12 of the biggest in the space, uh, Moonpay probably being market leader, and each of these on-ramps is good in different things, right? Um, you might recognize some names, examples, Great Southeast Asia, Transact does local payment methods as well, Moonpay tries really well and does really well in quite a lot in Credit Cards US. Now the question is, how do you judge fiat on-ramps? So there's three main components here. Number one is fees. Quite obvious, quite intuitive, won't dive too much into. Now, the second one, reach. Reach is how many countries does a fiat on-ramp support? How many fiat currencies, how many cryptocurrencies, how many payment methods? And the third one, which is sadly overlooked a lot, is success rate. A lot of fiat on-ramp transactions actually fail, so you need to have the right fiat on-ramp that will actually make a transaction work in the right region. Now, I'm from OnRamper. We are a fiat on-ramp aggregator. That means that we work with these parties, we aggregate them all, we put them all in a single API, in a single widget, and then we offer that to dApps, wallets, exchanges, etc. Um, you see the interface there. This is the widget. Now, in that, users can select amount of crypto they're buying, fiat currency, cryptocurrency, payment method. And we figure out who is actually cheapest right here. You see it's Transac, um, but you can see that the fees actually can differ quite a lot, right? When it comes to reach, or actually if I go back a slide, so this is m choosing the on-ramp based on fees, but I just said success rate is also really important, right? Ah, so we've actually ofertas, just built an intelligent route that can predict tiempo, the success rate sale. with each order for specific con una gráfica integrada típica de AMD, que aunque sea pues muy 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 básica, está genial um, porque en trabajos yeah, más pequeños really porta la RTX Now, a este portátil. En cualquier caso, las cifras en cuanto a temperatura son muy interesantes porque en ningún caso se superó los 80 82 grados. Datos que he recogido dejando un cierto espacio entre los botones físicos. Soporta ha sido de esta forma y de esta manera para yo poder hacer pruebas y testear. La conectividad es excelente, que tenemos una gran variedad de puertos como tres USB 3.2, un USB tipo C de tercera generación con DisplayPort, una entrada de audio mini jack, un conector LAN, otro de HDMI, incluso un bloqueo de seguridad Kensington. No sé si se lo he dicho bien. Lo que no tenemos es lector de tarjetas. Aquí necesitaremos no completar por hilos con el máximo. Polygon, Arbitrum, from, as well as then Optimism, ZK Sync, and some of the other ones. Notably, some of these layer twos don't even have fiat on ramps yet, right? So for users, the only way to actually get there is buy crypto somewhere else and then bridge, which we discussed is not a great way to do it. So some conclusions then. Polygon most popular layer two for on ramps. This is in multiple metrics that we track. Obviously, as aggregator, we get a lot of data in across all of these on ramps, across all of the people that integrate on ramper. So they're the most popular in transaction volumes, number of on-ramps, and supported assets. Because one thing is a on-ramp actually supporting the buying of assets on layer two, but then the second question is which assets? How many assets? And you see, even with the biggest ones, we see a very low range of assets being supported. So it's really early days. Now, it's miles better still than a year ago, but we're not there. So what then? and what is OnRamper's role within that. Now, we care about improving this, because the simple reason for that is 
this is usually the first thing a retail user has to do, right? And often, sadly, these transactions fail. Often, these tokens are not supported. So in any way we can help out, we want to help out. So when it's about the support of tokens, there's multiple ways um, that we actually do help out layer twos and projects built on top of layer twos. One is, obviously, we have the relationships with all of these different fiat on-ramps. So we can help in improving the support for layer two based assets, whether that's you know the more regular ones, Ethereum, USDC, et cetera, or more specific assets. However, that is per project, right? And that's not very quick in that sense, not very scalable because it requires our human effort to work with you together. Of course, we're willing to do that, but we've also built a better way. Now, this better way is essentially taking this concept of, hey, you still have to buy cryptocurrency with fiat first, with credit cards or local payment methods, and then you still have to bridge it. But what if we make this into a single flow? And sure, if we can buy crypto, let's say Ethereum on a main layer and then bridge it over to layer two, then still we only have one asset. So what if you can then instantly also in the same flow merge the swap on a DEX? So that's what we've built. That is what it looks like. I see that my time is up. Um, you can grab up in 30 seconds. Right. So that's what it looks like. It's a flow where that allows the user to go from fiat to any asset on layer two if we want to make that work, even through a bridge and a um, DEX transaction. Now the bridge is hidden on the back end. Here's an overview of the bridges and exchanges, DEXs, that we already support. Now, we haven't been able to aggregate all of this ourselves. This is made possible by the beautiful and great people at LeFi. Um, and yeah, if there's anything that we can help you out as layer two, as project on layer two, as DEX on layer two, to make buying any asset possible with cryptocurrency, then yeah, reach out uh, at Thijs at um, or Twitter or Telegram. Thank All you right, so thanks. much, Thijs. Big round of applause. <laughs> Woo.